Mr. Walsh chose a passenger version of the express van instead of the stripper van that you normally see. You know, the white van, no windows on the side, maybe a cage in the back, and it's just bare in the back. He chose a passenger van so he could drive it into Philly and not get a ticket on Kelly Drive. Kelly Drive in Philadelphia has some low bridge brick overpasses built by men who had rickets, so trucks are not allowed on Kelly Drive. But the city of Philadelphia classified any commercial vehicle as a truck, and because city officials care more about getting their balls flattened by red leather doms and red stiletto heels, only red stiletto heels, then properly classifying body-on-frame vehicles, they decided that anything without windows is a truck. And the cops are getting marching orders to extract money from you. Oh, but if you drive a passenger van on Kelly Drive? Oh, that could be full of my constituents. Let them through, let them through, let them through. This is one of the last old school first gen express vans, which ran from 1996 to 2002. After that, the express van got new clothes and the divine LS engine. But in 2001, the express van had the Elder Scrolls 350, that old iron block, which legends say was forged in the year of 1955. There is no LS in the Champagne van. Vortec was just a GM house brand catch-all name. They slapped on engines to make them sound top of the line. Technically, Vortec signifies multi-port injection, or in this case, spider injection, which is still MPFI, but still, this engine is ancient. It drives great, and it sounds great when you're going straight and slow. Any other time, turning, starting, rolling away from a stop, coming to a stop, on ramps, off ramps, a Chevy Express van feels and sounds like a decorative cookie tin filled with buttons and sewing needles. There isn't even proper legroom up front because the family tech support, how do I attach a file to a jump drive? Chevy 350 is between the seats at knee distance. 2001 Chevy Express Van 1500. Welcome to the line of full-size vans that replace the aptly named Chevrolet Van. Boss's new mistress, these vans were born in 1996. But the 1500 series was discontinued in 2014 due to cafe requirements and low production numbers. You get two swing-out passenger side doors that can be optioned out for a single sliding door, and fuel economy of around 15 city and 18 highway. Four-wheel anti-lock brakes are standard, but, but not side-impact airbags. Towing capacity is in the ballpark of 4,700 pounds for the G1500 passenger van. And you also get a low splitter and, like, Places for fog lights and stuff. That's another way that the passenger van differs from the, the, the regular work van. Because you get like, it, it tries to look fast a little bit with like the, these plastic stuff here. I mean, it's kind of breaking off. Whatever. Chevy Express van. For the man who doesn't use an alarm clock. He just wakes himself up when he gets to the part of the dream where he's walking around the supermarket and everything looks good. An Express van is for a cast iron skillet of a man. Hardened and dignified by routine and the nobility of hard work. Because hammers don't have integrity until someone wields them to a useful purpose. 